Good afternoon. The plan to bring state workers back to the office has been delayed until next month, but workers and their union reps argue that's not enough time, and the state's plan to do it isn't a plan at all. News 13's Ariana Kraft joins us live outside one state office that would be affected. Concerns range from there not being enough office space to personal issues for employees like finding child care and having long commutes. This is a complete reversal uh, of what we had already agreed to. The Communications Workers of America Union's local branch president, Dan Segrist, said many state workers are confused about the new plan for employees to come back to the office. People are having no luck. Uh, finding adjustments to their child care needs if they have to come in to the office. Uh, and these are people that, because by the nature of their work, they don't need to be in the office. They work in front of a computer and on the phone. Secret says state officials suddenly repealed the telework policy on November 29th, instructing employees to return January 3rd. Agencies simply weren't ready. They've already negotiated a delay until February, but says that's still not enough time. We had managers telling us, I have no place to put these folks. Uh, we gave up the office space that they would have originally, that they, you know, these positions would have been assigned to originally. Secrest believes the sudden change was the result of this Legislative Finance Committee meeting in November, where John Garcia, Cabinet Secretary for the Department of General Services, talked about excessive empty office space and how much it was costing the state. People are going to come back to work. FMD has not taken any space away from anybody that was teleworking because telework is temporary. So people are going to come back. The, the buildings will be used to uh, hopefully capacity. But Secrets claims some positions were advertised and hired as telework positions. They are people in remote locations that, uh, that were hired during the telework phase with the understanding that they would be teleworking, uh, who now are faced with uh, a hundred mile or more commute. Secret says they feel there should have been a negotiation per their contract and feels in many cases teleworking is just as effective as being in an actual office. He also thinks the change could push people away from working for the state in the midst of the ongoing staffing crisis. This is a complete reversal of what we had already agreed to. Uh, we had a good policy in place that allowed for flexibility to meet the needs of the job uh, for people. We asked the governor's office for a response to these concerns. The director of the state personnel office said they are trying to balance being a productive and flexible workplace with the needs of New Mexicans, which necessitates being accessible to the public. They also said they are working closely with the agencies to ensure there is adequate office space by February 2nd. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Ariana. Now, the state says as of December 23rd, about 34% of state employees are utilizing teleworking options, but most are only using it part time. We did ask if some jobs were advertised and hired as pure teleworking. They did not answer that question.